I am Captain Mario of the Freaky Tiki. Yes, this is the Freaky Tiki. It is a McGregor 26X. Kind of a big step up from the small Potter 15. I chose this boat for a few reasons. One, it has a swing keel. The swing keel allows me to go in virtually one foot of water without any trouble. It also has a water ballast, which allows my boat to be pretty much stable. It's claimed to be unsinkable. This thing can fill with water and it will still float. And it's kind of fun to go a little fast sometimes, though that is not the motive of our videos or our way of sailing. We do prefer to sail for most of the journey, but when needed, it's nice to know that we have a good, steady, and fast motor to rely on. Other than that, there are some benefits. With that kind of a draft, I can go to places like the Bahamas or the Keys without many worries. Uh, the problem with the Freaky Tiki, one of the reasons why I named it the Freaky Tiki, Unlike most conventional sailboats, this boat has a 50 horsepower engine. Kind of fast, kind of like a motorboat. But there are faster motorboats. So it's not the fastest motorboat either. So it's somewhere in between. It's not a sailboat and it's not a motorboat. It is a trailable sailboat, allowing me to take its destinations that may be a little bit farther to get to by boat. Some destinations require days by water where I may be able to get to it in a few hours if I just trailer it. Unfortunately, me and Nicole do work and sometimes are not allotted the time to go out and enjoy as much time as we would like. So the benefit of being able to trailer some of these destinations is a great plus. I know a lot of people hate this boat. I know a lot of people love this boat. I'm in one of those categories where I just got the boat and I, I love the boat. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video as we tour the boat. It's currently on the hard. There's a lot of work to be done. A lot of you guys know you own a sailboat, it's a lot of work, but the play and the benefits of sailing outweigh the work. If there ain't one thing to do on a boat, it's a million others. Always work on a boat. The reason why the boat's a mess, everybody who owns a boat knows when you work on a boat, it's not the easiest to kind of keep everything organized and just trying to find a way to organize everything.
So as I told you before, we were cleaning the boat because it was a horrible mess. We were cluttered. We were chaos. We had stuff in here from when we bought it. And we had too much stuff in here as it was. Well, like magic. many audio things going on all right so I've had bad luck with the audio during this video I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video but you're about to find out what the culprit was in this next little clip also stay tuned for after that little clip so you can see the rest of my audio bloopers fan up here which they do tend to be a little bit noisy they are solar powered Allowing me to go, excuse me. It has a swing, it has a swing cue. If the dogs would allow me to talk, I would talk. Hey! Excuse my neighbor's dogs. It was a great little dogs again. Please like and subscribe. Visit our website and Patreon. Links down below. From all of us, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Wait, all of us? Wait, where's Daddy? Oh, who cares where Daddy is? He's in all the other videos. Bye. Bye. Bye.